Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another trailer reaction of the Best Boys, Get Silas, and Sif Scott. Hello. This time, we're reacting to another uh, gameplay trailer that just came fresh off the recent Nintendo Direct Mini, and we'll be reacting to Sonic Frontiers. We've never had Frontiers on this channel. No, we haven't, Scott. We <laughs> never, we never covered it at all. There's just no footage of it. If you check the Outer Haven YouTube channel, it's been bare of all Sonic, you know, Sonic uh, Frontiers content. But uh, this trailer is on the shorter side. There's maybe some new reveals we could check out. Maybe there's some changes we may notice from the other trailers we've been covering. So without the way, let's get started. And if you guys haven't already, remember to sub to the channel. And uh, hit the bell as well. And uh, like the video. And let's get this on the way. Spin dash into a new zone. Thank you. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands. Home okay. to a mysterious civilization. Here, you can freely dash through a vast open zone. That's taking cool. full advantage of Sonic's speed skills. Is that an Eggman logo? Skills. Is that an Eggman yeah, looks like it. Oh, snap, it's crazy. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. That's cool. That With is good cool. timing. You can even oh, collect enemy, enemy attacks. Oh, there's enemy Oh, nice. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's attack. arsenal of moves. Okay. It seems like they managed to put the, uh, the action pieces together. You can also enter a yeah. special zone called Cyberspace. Whoa. Take on challenges at heck? supersonic speeds and wow, grab this keys is to progress. Pretty crazy. Wow, this one another level. There's a canyon. That's cool. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Sonic That's Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Oh, it's coming sooner. Okay. Sp so good to know. Good to know. All right. So I guess the holidays is within six months, and this game is complete. So off the bat, it seems like they made some adjustments to the. Uh, I think you noticed this, Scott. You may have mentioned this to me off. The colors are much different. It, yeah, it, doesn't look it as, looks a lot more vibrant. Yeah, it doesn't look as uh, I would say blotchy. Is that the right word? Like a little saturated. Yeah, saturated. Yeah. That's pretty okay. That's good. It seems like we also have water particles, so that's nice. Yeah, the interesting thing, because this looks like um, this was actually the one from the Switch, because there are some like textures that were less quality than the ones that we've seen. Mm, that's true. But again, it's the Switch. You can't yes. really expect it to be 1080p all the time or something. No. I think the cyberspace thing is pretty nuts. You get to play like uh, other weird level designs and like that which is crazy you get to run a city maybe some other things and as we can see we got all of these uh combat attacks and actions needless combat in my sonic game you know just completely useless how would i defeat my enemies <laughs> um we just run in this game thank just you just run yeah, yeah. This, it's just a running platformer i think though this is looking more like but i guess by the next official trailer or gameplay video it look a little more polished um I've noticed there's some small things, like you see rain colors, more particles. I've noticed some of there's like a little white line. Maybe it's just uh, that when you, you fight the enemies, maybe there's like an auto lock-on for you, something small like that, instead of seeing some blocky type of lock-on, you know? Yeah, it definitely looks like they've been polishing up a lot, which I'm really excited for, because I know that they're hard at work at this. Yeah, and it's... like there's even like comments of, people, of some of the directors saying that this is going to be like their prototype working into going to sonic adventure 3 because they want to work on a lot of things with it true and you know if sonic adventure 3 happens i would like to see all the positive comments that come up with that game you know uh yeah, i really hope if they do give us like sonic adventure 3 that it's like similar in the vein that we get to have so many different characters to choose from <laughs> yeah yeah like sonic adventure 2 we get two teams it's it very interesting to see at least this game and future games what they kind of want to push sonic to be into like, I wonder, like, not even for lore reasons, I wonder, like, do they want a more data-focused Sonic? Are we going to get a much more uh, platforming Sonic? Because this game still hit a lot of different notes where there's a narrative, there is, there is you know, good level design, it's, it's an open world. And from all the Sonic games that 
at least the ones I recognize and played a lot for, all of them were like linear designs or kind of finite in the way, you know? I think that that you bring up is actually interesting because when you go back to like, I guess the first three Sonics, sure, there was like, you're going forward, but there's multiple paths to go to that location. Right. And in like the other like 3D games that we've had, I guess like Forces, it's always been very linear in the sense that there's only usually one or two ways you can actually go to get to the place you need to be. Right. So this seems like it's kind of almost a return to form in the sense that there's going to probably be more than one path that you can use to get to the end of a level. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, that's definitely how you look into it. As well as we saw the infinite speed highway thing, all those paths. Maybe that's a way to do it. It looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. And I wonder if they'll incorporate the multi-level how to solve certain levels in the game, like from uh, getting the keys or it's traversing. I'm looking. Like I said, this game, I have a lot of high hope to see what they're getting because each time I see it, it looks a little bit better. It looks a little more defined. This is something I'm keeping in my back pocket, but I'd like to see more. I'm looking to see more for it when uh, with Sega drops information on this. 100%. I'm really hoping that this can succeed. Yeah. Um, and I hope and it needs a, it needs a kick ass uh, rock song, you know. Um, you know, let's go for the Sonic. Sonic, he can really. Can we at least it. get a Crush 40 cameo? Um, yeah, you, you'll see a can of Crush 40. And like, Sonic, no! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. Yep. And I guess that's that. And I guess there's nothing more to really add to it except that Sonic attack animations look really nice. I, I like how they look. It looks a lot faster, too, in his battle mechanics. Yeah. Definitely. And without the way, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell as well. Be notified next time we go live for content. Like the video. What is your favorite Sonic game that you have played in recent memories? Do you like the linearity of some level design Sonic? What type of Sonic levels do you enjoy the most? What are you looking forward to, uh, Sonic Frontiers? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on our social medias in the description box. You hit the link tree, you'll be able to find our Twitters, Twitch, and other things to work on. This is Gitsis and Sipscott signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.